In this presentation, we give a brief overview of how the pressure swing adsorption cycle is used to separate oxygen from air. Let's look at a schematic view of the PSA plant. Notice that there are two large tanks connected on the top and bottom by a collection of pipes and valves. We'll cover all of these parts later, but first, let's take a closer look at just one of the large tanks. The tanks are filled with small round grains of a special man-made material known as zeolite. Zeolite is a microporous substance, meaning it has many small microscopic holes throughout it. These holes give the zeolite a very large surface area. When compressed air is flowed through the zeolite, nitrogen molecules in the air will stick to the surface of the zeolite. This process is known as adsorption. Let's see what the adsorption process looks like in just one tank. Here we see air flowing from the inlet pipe through an open valve and into the bottom of the tank. As air passes through the zeolite, the nitrogen molecules stick to the surface of the zeolite. Air is about 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and only 1% other gases, so trapping all of the nitrogen leaves very pure oxygen passing through the zeolite. Zeolite can only trap so much nitrogen, so as the air is flowed through the zeolite, it'll start to become saturated with nitrogen. Notice the dark region at the bottom of the tank. As compressed air enters the tank, the oxygen from the air passes through the bed and out through the top of the plant. This is the product line. In a well-functioning PSA plant, the oxygen leaving the product line will be between 90 and 96% pure. This process can continue until all the zeolite in the tank is saturated with adsorbed nitrogen. At this point, no more oxygen can be separated by the zeolite. To separate more oxygen, we must first get rid of all the nitrogen that the zeolite has collected. Since the tank is under pressure, usually about 70 psi or 5 bar, we can get rid of the nitrogen by exhausting the tank to the outside environment. To do this, we close the feed valve on the very bottom rung and open the exhaust valve just above it. High pressure, nitrogen-rich gas from the tank is now exhausted to the outside. It passes through a muffler to reduce noise. As the pressure drops, more nitrogen will desorb or become unstuck from the zeolite and flow out through the muffler. This will continue until the tank reaches ambient pressure. Now we're ready to feed air back into the tank and make more oxygen. Of course, there are two tanks in the PSA plant, so what is the tank on the other side doing? Well, it's doing the exact same thing, but at the opposite time. While the left-hand tank was exhausting nitrogen, the right-hand tank is producing oxygen. Likewise, when the left-hand tank produces oxygen, the right-hand tank is exhausting nitrogen. We can see now why there are four valves on the bottom of the tank. The two valves on the bottom rung are the feed valves. They allow compressed air in the bottom of the tank. The two valves on the second rung are the exhaust valves. They allow the nitrogen in the full tanks to be exhausted out of the muffler. Here, the right-hand tank is producing oxygen while the left-hand tank is venting. So, the right feed valve is open and the left exhaust valve is open. Here, the left tank is producing oxygen while the right tank is exhausting. Notice that the open feed and exhaust valves have changed. Let's take a look at the output of the plant. These two valves are known as check valves. They only allow air to flow in one direction. Here, both are set up so that oxygen can only flow from the top of the tank through the output and not back through the other tank. Let's look again at the right tank as it finishes exhausting. At ambient pressure, the tank will have exhausted almost all of the nitrogen it collected during its cycle, but some nitrogen will always remain in the tank. When we start a cycle over again, this nitrogen may end up in our output, lowering the oxygen purity. To achieve high purity, it would be good to get rid of this nitrogen before we start the cycle over. We can do this by using a little bit of the oxygen we produce to purge the remaining nitrogen from the tank. A plate or plug with a small hole, known as an orifice, will allow a small amount of oxygen to flow from one tank to the other through what is known as the purge line. The oxygen travels from the top of the tank to the bottom, purging the nitrogen from the tank. Before the end of the cycle, some of the purge oxygen will be exhausted out of the muffler. While the purge line does indeed waste some oxygen, it is essential for maximizing purity. To talk about the final valve, we need to look at the pressure in each tank. Here, we see that the left tank is at or near its maximum pressure, and most of the zeolite is saturated with nitrogen. We also see that the right tank is at or near ambient pressure, and that the zeolite has been purged of nitrogen. 
Well, we could continue to produce oxygen in the left-hand tank since there is some unsaturated zeolite left. A more efficient option is to use the compressed oxygen at the top of the tank to pressurize the unused tank. This is known as equalizing the tanks. The equalizing valve opens up, joining the tops of both tanks. Oxygen rushes from the pressurized tank to the tank at ambient pressure until the pressure in both tanks is roughly equal. Pre-pressurizing the empty tank with oxygen helps jumpstart the nitrogen separation. Recall the zeolite absorbs nitrogen better at higher pressures. Now, having seen all the parts of the PSA plant, let's go through a full cycle. We start just after equalization. The right-hand tank is producing oxygen, and the left-hand tank is venting. Notice that the purge line is flowing, the right feed valve is open, and the left exhaust valve is open. The valve stays in this position until the right tank has saturated almost all of its zeolite. Notice that the left tank has been fully purged and is exhausting a little oxygen. Here we equalize both tanks, jump-starting production on the left tank. The left tank is now producing oxygen, and the right tank is venting adsorbed nitrogen. Again notice, the purge line is flowing, the right feed valve is open, and the left exhaust valve is open. The valves stay in this position until the left tank has saturated almost all its zeolite. Notice that the right tank has been fully purged and is exhausting a little oxygen. Again, we equalize the tanks, helping to begin production on the right tank. And that's it! While the timings, valve types, and sensors will vary from machine to machine, the basic cycle is remarkably consistent. 